We all know the joke about weathermen, right? Where they're the only vocation where you can be wrong almost all of the time and still keep your gig? Well, the new Argentinian Netflix film, All Hail, takes a look at what happens when prognosticating the weather goes wrong. After failing to predict a destructive hailstorm, a famous meteorologist flees to his hometown and soon finds himself on a journey of self-discovery. So we've got Miguel, a wildly popular weatherman who enjoys quite a bit of celebrity. He's approached on the streets by just all kinds of adoring fans, and by the reactions of some of the people, you'd think that he was giving out the winning lottery numbers every time he broadcasts. Things go awry, though, when he claims the evening skies will be clear and fair. And then a massive hailstorm hits, wreaking just all kinds of havoc on the city that relied on Miguel's accuracy up until this point. Disgraced, he hightails it out of the city and he returns to his hometown where he can hopefully grow as a person and then maybe even as a weatherman. Some of this plays out like a made-for-TV movie. Now, there's a level of cheesiness to it, and I didn't mind it because it kind of bordered on the absurd, especially with how characters reacted to Miguel. They treat him like a huge celebrity, and there are multiple establishing scenes that show just how many people throughout the city regularly are discussing the weather, and then just how great Miguel is at forecasting more than any other app on a phone. The story has a few arcs to it that branch off and then threaten to distract, but for the most part, they do circle back around and they tie into the larger narrative. Now first, obviously, we have the story of Miguel and his disgrace of giving such an inaccurate forecast. I mean, this is the central story that leads him on his path of really just self-worth and then ideally growth. Another storyline follows a taxi driver who's just this massive fan of Miguel's. We get glimpses into the home life of the taxi driver, and we get to see just how tumultuous his relationships are, especially once calamity hits when Miguel missed the forecast. Now, the reactions of this character are massively blown out of proportion, which, I mean, in the ridiculousness can be mildly funny, but the storyline as a whole, I think, is just completely useless. We get that the city is upset with Miguel, and we see multiple examples of this, so to follow just one guy becomes just kind of a time waster within the narrative. Now, within that guy's storyline, though, there are a couple of funny moments, especially as he sits down to dinner with his family. He has this elderly father-in-law whose antics just really did cause me to chuckle a couple of times. Then there's a storyline that circles around Miguel's relationship with his daughter. Now, this pulls in family dynamics as the characters discuss hurts and even lost time. Some of this is touching, but for what it could be, the content is rushed and then a bit shallow. The film does a good job of establishing some antagonism between Miguel and his daughter, and then also explains it so nothing feels out of left field. But there's a tonal transition that is very rushed and almost unearned, even if it's for an outcome that we're rooting for. And this is the story that I really wanted. I enjoyed watching Miguel work towards repairing a damaged relationship with his daughter just because that could then mirror the work that he had to do with his audience to repair their broken trust. There were beginnings of conversations between Miguel and his daughter, and some of them very touching with just a ton of issues to impact. Now, I'm not saying we needed this huge psychoanalysis of their relationship and all of their problems, but to watch conversations take place and then have them reconnect in a non-rushed way would have been so much more touching, effective, and then really believable. Now, the final act of the film turns what was a sweet and humorous growth journey just into utter ridiculousness. I mean, we go from watching a film that looked decent, even though it looked like a made-for-TV movie, into something that you would see on the sci-fi channel that has to do with flying sharks. There is a weather event that is the climax of the film, and those graphics, I mean, they're just atrocious. Now, I do applaud the filmmakers for making the scene as long as it was, but it becomes laughable at what occurs on screen. The destruction is just wildly unconvincing, and because the visuals are so poor-looking, it ends up harming the film, almost cheapening the emotional story that had been set up. But not all of the camera work is terrible in this. There are several scenes, which are especially towards the beginning of the film, where there are long, continuous takes as our characters maneuver through a building and they're having different conversations. It's impressive and it's very immersive to not have the dialogue or even the footage cut by angle changes. Now, for a movie that's just short of two hours, many of the story points end up being rushed in favor of cramming in the unnecessary plot points that distract from the growth journey that Miguel is on. Now, while I don't think the story actually drags, as the pace is fairly constant, there's just too much that the story tries to include that makes the content watered down and then less effective from an emotional standpoint. The acting is effective, and Guillermo Francella, who plays Miguel, I think he's charismatic and mostly likable. And when his ego gets in the way, he's not despicable, but it does allow us to witness his character growth. So overall, All Hail starts out with a story that has some depth with a character who's on a journey to better himself through an unlikely setup. I like Miguel's interactions, and we can really see a humble desire for growth from him. 
Unfortunately, though, the story wastes time on portions and storylines that are unimportant and to the detriment of the growth that we want to see. The narrative ends up being rushed, making situations and emotions feel unearned and surface level, and that rushed feeling is in spite of a runtime that was more than sufficient to provide an engaging and impactful story. And despite some great camera work at the beginning of the film, the climax devolves the story into a laughable, low-budget cable science fiction movie, ruining the small amount of emotion that had been built. I was actually getting invested in this story, but I ended up wanting so much more from it. While it's not something that should be avoided at all costs, it's also not something to drop everything in order to watch. There's no sex or nudity, a lot of profanity, and some violence. I give all hail two and a half out of five couches. So what's a weather-themed movie that you enjoy? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching.